Um, right, let's do this. 2709-2019. And it should go under Bounty Train. To... Whoops. Oh, there we go. Hmm. What do I do next? Um, I can't remember to turn to Bounty Train, but today's the uh, retro day, so... Hmm. If I return to Resident Evil, that's going to be uh, a whole mess of uh, stuff, isn't it? Let me just check something on the uh, Resident Evil file. Resident Evil. I should have searched. B. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Oh, it's just the one. Okay. Let's try on this one then. All right, let's uh, update the stream. It's going to be another let's scream. gonna go because this is a very popular game director's cut I'm probably gonna get a lot of uh, I might get a lot of hits there we go updated perfect now that we're all updated let's play some Resident Evil. Ah! Capcom! Oh, you used to be cool, Capcom. So far, the emulation on Retroarch has been better than the EPSX. Ah! Blood everywhere! Resident Evil. I've pressed a button, there we go. Um, I can't even select load game. I couldn't even choose any of the choices. Does that mean the D-pad's fucked on this then? Oh shit. Yeah, the D-pad is uh, fucked on this. <sighs> oh, maybe it's the multi-track thing. That's what I used. 
Uh, yeah, whenever, whenever a game's a multi-track thing, virtual art can't play it. But if you give me a sec, I'll uh, see about loading this up. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what the bloody screen... Every time I do it, it just changes the size of my screen, which is a bit silly. <laughs> Two, four, yeah. Have the window size the same as the uh, desktop resolution, which I think is. Actually, let me try and find out what my desktop re resolution is. Because I can never bloody remember. Uh slay settings What is the size of my bloody screen? <sighs> Slice. Maybe I'll have it. Nope. Sorry, I'll stay with this then. Oh wait. It's in my uh, game list. Yes, open the game list. Game list. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Still bloody reduce the screen, but fuck it. No, oh, it's this button I'm meant to press. I was meant to change this one, nice shit. Resident Evil. I've seen stuff moving in the background. Yep, change that to that, and then. No, it's not on there anymore, is it? Uh, that's it. Oh, there we are. Resident Evil. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Yeah. I'm not in the way, guys, am I? No, no. That little thing at the top right kind of is, but, uh... <clears throat> Didn't hear anything. Is that me, or...? Oh. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Resident Evil. Evil Residence. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Resident Evil. Yeah, I'm not going to try advance. <laughs> now. Do we go for... I 
thing is, I want to finish Chris Redfield because I've already done one part with Chris Redfield. But at the same time, Jill is the easy one and Chris is a hard version. Which isn't mentioned on here, but it probably was mentioned in the instruction book. And apparently, on the Japanese version, it's just called Hard Mode. If you watched the first part, you've already uh, seen this. But it's fun to laugh at the bad Alpha acting. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Well, fucking move it, Chris, you little cunt. Bizarre murder <laughs> cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group. Ninja zombies. And disappeared. Ninja zombies, pretty. Look, Chris. I wish I was able to like reannounce the it was broadcast. Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, cool. most of the equipment was still there. Whiskey. However, we soon discovered why. Jill! <laughs> Chris's look. <laughs> Fucking punch him. Hey! Come here! Come here! Hey! Come here! We give you a hand. <laughs> Doggo! Oh, he's just tackling you like my dog does. Yeah, he does get a little bit bitey as well. Joseph! Joseph! <laughs> Is that really what Whisker sounds like? <laughs> Don't go, CGI helicopter. <laughs> Kill, run for that house. What house? Oh, there's a the house. Why couldn't I see it in the dark? Actually, how can you see it in the dark? There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Oh, Chris, Chris Redfield. Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Glorious beard. Rebecca Chambers. <laughs> Albert Wesker. That's how you know he's evil, because he combs his hair like that. Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Annoyance. Well, they thought it was safe. They were wrong. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... Dum dum dum. No. Not Barry. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Hmm? I love Take you. Care. I know. Oh. 
<laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Yeah. Right, now. I initially fucked up last time I was playing this. Because I was trying to, uh... I thought I'd be really clever by collecting the, uh, the piece here on the mantle. Unfortunately, I never found anywhere to cocking use it. So I'm going to leave it right there so it doesn't take up any inventory space. Well, that was it. That was the right button. <laughs> hmm. It's locked from the inside. Whatever will I do? Carving with a sword. Right. Just need one of this place as a sword. Barry? Is that you, Barry? You picked Chris. No sandwiches this way. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, it's coming, George. <laughs> I picked Chris because last time I, uh, last time I asked the chat, who should I pick? And then the chat said, Chris. And because I'm uh, already started a Chris run, I might as well try and come back this time and finish it. <laughs> no Jill sandwich this time. Picture of a woman. I thought I saw something shining. Dusty looking grandfather clock. Well, there's clearly something behind it. Move it. Yeah, oh, never mind. Brainless twat. <laughs> Brainless Chris. So I'm doing this bit but ass backwards, doing hard first, then easy. <laughs> Wesker? Jill? I'm cold and there's wolves outside. <gasps> Her gun! She wouldn't leave that alone. What happened to Jill and Wesker? Ah, they're getting laid. <laughs> they're making their own Jill sandwich, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's bad. It's Jill's gun. Yes. I will take the Beretta. Well, I could have just left it on the floor, you know. Now, this is always fun. Is it safe to go outside? Let's see. Oh, no, not safe. Not safe at all. <laughs> yep, can't go out there. Let's see now. <laughs> yeah, I've not... To be honest, I've never played this game all the way through and finished it. Not even... Uh, not even the bad ending where everyone has died. I've gotten... Uh, well, I've got nowhere with this game, actually, to be honest. I played it a little bit when I was younger, and I think I played the demo of the second one. Which I think must be very different, because I swear... <laughs> Do I rap the first one? Nah, I'm not going to do a knife mode. I, <laughs> Like I said, I'm completely inexperienced with this game. I'm probably going to bloody... Uh... Mess up anyway. Don't think I need to go through here yet. How many eyes have you completed? Um, hmm. Let me think. Uh, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5. 
And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Very small collection, I know. <laughs> Those are the only two I've completed. Four and five. Four being with your uh, Chris Redfield, and you have to save the president's daughter, which is nice and cheesy. And then Resident Evil 5, where you're stuck in. Uh... Is it like. I forgot where the country was, but you know. There was a there was an issue where a lot of people were claiming it was racist because you were just shooting black people, but then it was later pointed out that you know the all monsters and in, in that area is where you get predominantly black people. So, <laughs> but then there were some certain issues. What's that, oh sir? Well, at least you got to punch freaking boulders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever found use for that key, actually, to be honest. There's blood! Hope it isn't the teammates. Blood! I hope it's not Chris's blood. No one cared when he slaughtered Hispanics. <laughs> Pretty much. Ah! It's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows. Now, as I learned last time, retreat is the better course of action. <coughs> I like that, nobody cares when it's all Hispanics. <laughs> I've not played the Code Veronica games either. There's a guy I watch actually, Terrascope. Great person, highly recommend you watch him. Uh, and he did for fun, a, he tested out uh, Resident Evil Gaiden, which is a Game Boy version of Resident Evil. I see. Birds don't care about me now that I've uh, come back. <laughs> yeah, but I've never best eat the the um. What was I saying? Yeah, he played uh, Resident Evil Gaiden, which was the Game Boy Color version, and wow, that was shit. And I mean, wow. <laughs> it um it had a weird kind of combat system to it as well. It's not bad. No, you're correct. It's not bad. It's fucking awful. <laughs> but seriously, it's like, wow. Oh, shit. I'm no good with a knife run, so I'm just going to try and... Uh... Die! Yeah, I, I know your trick. There we go. Oh, what the f- He did it twice! Little bastard! There we go. Crushed his head. <laughs> Fear of what Ari is supposed to be was lost on the handheld version. Yeah, it's... I mean, to say the game was different is an understatement. Yeah, to say the game was different is an understatement. Because, uh, different... ...suggests... Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, different suggests that, uh, you know, it might not be good, but it could be okay, but, uh, <laughs> uh, 
And then, uh, out of curiosity, because he does a bit, quite a lot of speed runs of uh, Resident Evil 2 and such. Uh, always trying to improve his uh, score and get higher and higher. And because of that, I, out of curiosity, uh, asked, is there, a, is there a ranking for Resident Evil Gaiden? And there is. <laughs> Ari Survivor, however, was a tumor. Survivor, was that the... Um... No, I'm thinking of Dead Aim, aren't I? There's that... You know, that, uh... Sort of light gunish one. Haha, <laughs> off goes his arm. Oh shit. You don't terrify me! Starving Ark! <laughs> I know one of the Resident Evil games, it was that shooter one, wasn't it? Where everything goes in a kind of a first person thing. No, he's definitely dead that time. Uh, I've seen people do this, but I've, as of yet, found a, a thing to use the gems on. <laughs> oh, shit, too far. It's always hard to tell with emulation, because sometimes you go a bit off. There we go. See what this is based on here. Hmm. Gun... It was gun based in Japan, I believe, here. However, it was controller based. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was. He played that one as well, which, uh. That one didn't seem so bad. That's not me saying it's amazing or anything, but. It, it was at least Resident Evil, you know? The sequel to Survivor is gun based here. Hmm. Get the fuck away from me! Oh, he died quite easily. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was close. Oh yeah, I have to go down here. <laughs> I said I only found this out last time I played this. I got here late. Did you input the code for more bullets, or are you going raw? I didn't put in any codes, no. So it's definitely raw. Oh shit! Uh. Uh. So it's definitely raw. I don't usually cheat unless it's something I need to do. Whoa! Whoa. What is it? <laughs> Ow! What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be. I don't care. Brain. My eyes fucking hurt. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Anyway, you well, did get here late, but I wasn't playing stars. this earlier. I was Are playing right? something else. But because I finished that, I've moved on to this. Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh, uh... I see. 
There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. But yeah, I'm going in raw, so... Yes, sir. No lube added. Sorry, I... But I am very crude, that is why I put I my channel as a uh, mature recently. channel. Because I'm not... Because, <laughs> like oh no, it was a really great read for the actress, and then she... <laughs> And then she just runs the <laughs> Oh yes. The sword key. We only find out it's a sword key by doing this. <gasps> the sword there. Music makes me think of Final Fantasy VII for some reason. Probably just me though. Nothing at all. I thought it was ink ribbons. Shit. Because of course, with this game, you can't save unless you've got an ink ribbon. It's no typewriter. Oh well. Shit. Are you going to be I okay here? Everybody is. Yes, they're all dead. Thanks to you. Oh wait, where's the map? I don't think. Uh... Actually, I've never got that on. Pass that zombie downstairs. So I can't remember if there is, if any of those doors work or not. Although you haven't played the RVs, do you still own them? Well, what should I do now? Uh, like this if one, I am own it via the other emulation members, form. How about letting me come with you? <laughs> Will you take Rebecca with you? <sighs> See, I didn't last time because I was afraid she was gonna completely fuck up. Except for Jill and Wesker, they're <laughs> getting laid. <laughs> yeah, that was the joke I made earlier. They're making their own Jill sandwich. <laughs> they found Barry, but they couldn't be bothered to invite me, so they buggered off. <laughs> but yeah, I do own the others. Um, for example, I own a lot of the ones on uh, PC. Actually, I'll quickly take a look at uh, Steam, because I've got... Uh, let's see... I've got like, a huge number from various humble bundles and things. Uh, PQR. So many REs. Ah, oh, there we go. Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. Resident Evil Five, but on PC. Resident Evil Six. Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations Two. So I have quite a lot in my collection, and that's not even including my uh, emulation emulation list as well, where I've got uh, most of them. You know, I, t I said no last time, but let's say yes this time. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Prepare something? Ah! Hmm. I've never been that way, but I'll probably find out I was meant to go that way in the bar in the future. No! Oh, you bastard! Ooh. 
Well, this didn't bloody bite me. Damn it. Then again, as Telescope was telling me, their damage has increased as well, so... I'm fine. Hmm. Not as badly dam... Badly damaged as, uh... Yeah, it's locked. The carving of a helmet. Oh yeah, this has got the numeric panel. No, I don't know the pass number. Never mind. Stop, stop, stop! I don't know how people even do knife runs. I mean, how the hell do you... I'm guessing you have to try and trick the zombie into a certain movement. Oh, hey there, Lucid Wrath. How are you doing? Thanks for the raid! <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks for the raid. This is my second time playing this game with Chris. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Again, thank you a lot for the raid. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> wow, that's the first... Actually, that's the first time I've been raided, I think. Oh, no, no, no. I have been raided a few other times in the past, but it's uh, <laughs> not been for quite some time. So again, thank you. Thanks for the thanks for the raid. And welcome everyone. <laughs> Don't know if they're gonna stay around or not, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, if I remember, I need to go back down here. <laughs> oh, I'm alright. I finished. Uh, I finished Lost in Blue, and instead of playing uh, Sky version, I decided to play this instead. <laughs> This is just something so you can run past. Hmm. I've seen that in Resident Evil 2, but I wouldn't know where to begin with this one. Right. Oh no, and back this way is where we need, uh. Well. As I learned from the chat last time. <laughs> As I learned from the chat last time, Chris Redfield can't play do it, but uh, what's the name can? Which is why Jill is the easier one because she knows how to do the tune. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been doing fine. Uh, dog's been getting worn out. <laughs> uh, fuck, wasn't there something around here? I swear there was something I picked up a woman. Oh yeah, it's this way, isn't it? There it is. The music sheet. Oh, bollocks. There we go. Now I can pick it up. Probably a very stupid thing to do, but never mind. And yes, I can see there's a secret door there, but <laughs> I'm going to pretend I don't. You always shoot the knees so they fall and then stab, stab, stab. I've tried that, but it does not... <laughs> it does not like to work. Chris, unfortunately, can't read music. <laughs> oh, God. That's like if I try to play the piano. Ha! It's me, Chris. Oh, hello. Is that you, Rebecca? <laughs> no! It's Wesker. Of course it's Rebecca. It's not even dimly lit, ah, so... It's the Moonlight Sonata. Gotta go, my guy. I got a bunch Can of stuff play? I gotta do today. Alright, well, I'll see you later, then. I'll be in this room for another hour, to be honest, but uh, after that I've got stuff to do with my dad. Fix him up. Oh, come on, it's just Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> I act as if I know what it's like to play a piano. Most I've ever done is just mess around with the piano when I was in church, but that was about it. Uh, she's murdering that song just... 
Ugh. It's like taking a... It's so like she's literally taking a sledgehammer to the music. Wait, what is that? Shit is what it was. My interpretation is off a little. <laughs> interpretation, yeah, right. Chris, may I practice for a while? What happens if I say no? I, I just said yes. See? Just relax and play. Go All ahead. Right. The last time I was running around the mansion with like a bloody headless chicken, and uh, she still hadn't finished. And there, that zombie's still down there, so I'm staying away from him. Don't want to waste the bullets on him. Mm, don't need that symbol, as far as I know. No, not sure where. <laughs> I've got an idea of where to go next. Was it? Hmm. Yeah, I've got an idea of where to go next, but uh... oh, since I've never actually completed this, I've got no true idea. I know they move some items around uh, between this one and Jack and Jill's version of the game. But I can't remember where they move them to. Yeah. Yep, they're very dead, still. Was it this way I needed to go? I think I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, again, Lucid Rathy, have a good time. She couldn't stay longer, but uh, to be honest, it might become a bit of a bore fest, so I'm not sure where to go next. Yep, sword key, indeed. Yeah, I got the sword key, that's how I got into the uh, piano room. I'm thinking the doors down here might lead me uh, way out. Uh, you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that plan didn't go to <laughs> didn't go to fight. <laughs> There's one here. Ah, he's doing near me. Oh shit. Bye bye. Ah, yeah, these doors do work. First floor, right side. Where you got the map? Alright. Oh, check. Oh shit. Oh, I think I died here, didn't I, last time? Because <laughs> I ran out of health and I was like, shit. Oh, piss off. Yeah. You've used the sword key. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, I remember this room. Yes. Right, that's it. And there's a spooky journal here. Die! 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's shotgun shells, isn't it? No, no, I don't take the shells. It's okay, choking. <laughs> yes, because he came out the closet, I get it. Yeah, last stream I read this, it's a bloody creepy diary about uh, him getting infected. And then he starts saying this, itchy tasty. That's it. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy itchy. Scott came. Ugly face so kill him. Tasty. Itchy tasty. Keep his diary has been filed. This could be evidence. Doesn't them look useful. Nothing special. Yeah, he just came out of the closet, didn't he? <laughs> Run! That was it. A speedy way to get back into this hallway, I believe. No, she keeps fucking up. She's still fucking up. For some reason, this label is the creepiest read read in the series. Yes, it was very disturbing when I read it. Definitely, because it was all about, uh, you know, talking about being infected, and then, uh, oh no, before that, all the horror because they weren't told what was going on, and that some contagion was around the place, and then. Uh, it's a bit of a classic story, really. It's locked. Carving of armor. Oh, okay. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a creepiest read in the game, to be honest, because it is. I mean, in the series, because it is. Just, uh, read that bit. In there, I know there's an ink ribbon, but I know there's a bloody zombie there playing possum. Uh. Yeah, from my experience last time, he was playing possum. There he is. Yeah, get up. I know you're there. Oh, for God's sake. Get off! There we go. Yes, take the ink ribbon. <laughs> right, if I remember last time. <laughs> you have used the sword key. This key is useless now. Discard? Yeah. If it really is useless, then why not? But yeah, it doesn't surprise me to be the creepiest in the series, to be honest. Here we go. Yep, that scared the shit out of me as a kid. And last time I was streaming this, I completely forgot about that. And the dog scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and me screaming like a child. <laughs> yes, green plant. Oh, wait. I better leave that because if I get worse, it's a good pick me up. Right, let's see, where am I? Mm hmm. Room over there, room over there, room over there. Ah, that's it, right. 
Carving of armor, okay. RV1, the new RV2. <laughs> Looking good, handsome. Yeah, why not? Oh no, it's a ban by Jigsaw! <laughs> Oh, RE1 and the new RE2 are the one, only ones that scare you now. Huh, fair enough. No. I've got no use for it. I still don't know what I'm meant to use a small key for, so never mind. Bog time. Nothing useful. Well, that was useful, wasn't it? I remember the last time I was, uh... I got all the way to the end and then I was stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a form of emulation sometimes, you get doors high enough walls. <laughs> well, with games like this, anyway. No, here we go. Oh, was there anything else here? No, there wasn't shit. I do like how it looks like people... Clearly something happened to the people that were sat here. And I've seen it multiple times, I've even fought it for myself. I am not going to take the shotgun off the uh, wall. Emulation tisk tisk. <laughs> well, it's easier to stream from the PC than anywhere else. Much easier to stream. I'd have to get a uh, one of those special things to do it. Besides, I think I already own it anyway. I'm pretty certain I already own it. And then the uh, and on the digital version on the PS3 as well. <laughs> Oh shit! Get down, man! Oh, that kid little. Good, good. <laughs> it was just coming after me then. <laughs> that close. Oh shit. Oh, great. Take the chemical. Yeah, why not? I've got no use for it, to be honest. So I just stiff, stuff it in there. Oh yeah, I better save it. can save your progress with this. You use the ink ribbon? Yeah. And unfortunately, not unlike uh, other games, because it's so limited with the save files. <laughs> See, there's... There we go. Because it's so limited with the save files, you can't just uh, keep saving and saving and saving just in case you uh, completely mess up. Your opinion on Metroid Phoenix? Hmm. Love them, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, um, but more, more interesting task is that it's always fun. I do like going back and forth, back and forth with solving puzzles. Unfortunately, it can be a bit stressful sometimes. 
like in some of the old ones where you really don't know where the oh shit I walked straight into that one didn't I oh come on how did he grab me <laughs> it's a good thing I saved then wasn't it <laughs> hey 118 man uh 188 man 118 that's the wrong bloody thing isn't it <laughs> Oh, it doesn't need to take me all the way back here, does it? That's a good thing I see. <laughs> uh, playing Bloodstained while you're playing and... While watching you on Xbox. Alright! Ah, right. I've got Bloodstained, actually. I uh, I was one of the late Kickstarters, so, you know, added money to it later. So I have it, but I've not played it yet. I'm just holding on to it for the moment. You have once again entered the world of the living. No, the world of survival horror. <laughs> Resident Evil. I swear that good luck almost sounds sarcastic. Like, I know you've died already, so good luck. Condescending piece of... <laughs> Uh, the director's cut on PS1. If that helps you. What version? Do we have Bloodstained? Uh, the Kickstarted one, not the uh, not the uh, 2D one. I mean, not the uh, uh, eight bit one. Moo wishes you luck. Well, thank you, Moo. Um. Haha! <laughs> oh, thank you, Moo. Thank you for the luck. Oh, I forgot to leave the ribbon in the thing. I don't mind. Yes, I'll take this with me. Oh, oh uh, what platform? Uh, PC. Go on Steam. I put most of my stuff through, the, through my PC gaming, to be honest. No offence to consoles and that. Yeah. I'm not part of that whole, ooh. PC gear. Master PC, no, PC Master Race, <laughs> rubbish, you know. <laughs> Everyone has their own platform for their own reasons. And my main reason is that I don't have bloody money. Well, barely any money. Right, I'm gonna need some bloody clips soon. <laughs> right, again, uh, shot myself in the foot, I picked I pick Switch. Oh, is there a problem with the Switch version? Oh shit. I think I heard that there was a problem with one of the versions, but... Oh, get off! He's only got one arm, he can't really grab me, can he? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely dead. Oh, this issue. Mm. Danger, danger. Fine. Right, where's the map here? Oh, I know this room. Yes, I was here last time. The picture is entitled From Cradle to Grave. Zombie wanted a bag of chips from me. <laughs> well, I don't have any. There's a switch below. Will you push it? No. Yeah. 
Yes. Newborn baby is first. Can't remember which picture's which, so I'm just gonna have to. Uh, oh man. Infant. Lively boy. And then. Let's see. Nope. Lively boy, and then I'm guessing young man. Which one was it? Tired middle aged man. Let me go back this way for. The old bloke. That's it. Damn, moo crows. <laughs> but then the switch is like using Dixie cups to talk to someone across country. <laughs> oh, that's not. That barely shows the power of the switch, then, does it? <laughs> things because when I went outside to that area I needed multiple quests actually you know what take it take it thank you crows for not killing me they were happy that I did it all in order you see because apparently if I don't do it in order they get really pissed off in the attack which I think is kind of funny because it shows that these crows are super intelligent I know the crows are intelligent anyway, but these are like super uber crows. Isn't there a door here? Carving of a helmet, okay. I'll leave that alone then. Let's give this a go. <laughs> Moo crows. Surely they'd be bovine crows then, wouldn't they? Ah! When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east. The stars will begin to appear in the sky. Wind will blow towards the ground. When the gate of new life will open. Oh, for God's sake! Yes, I get it. There we go. Oh, piss off. Oh, no, Abel, I forgot your treats. I'm sorry. <laughs> For you who don't know, Abel is my uh, pet dog. He's a uh, Alsatian, and you've probably heard him barking a few times in the background. <laughs> Actually, people and creatures... Infected by the Moo virus, like myself, have nothing to do with bovines, funnily enough. Okay then. <laughs> is, is, is that some sort of meme or something going around, Moo virus? Or is it just like making fun of the T virus? But yeah, the door I have is one of the scariest breeds of all time, the Alsatian. Oh, 
One eight eight ban channel law. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Bovines and the bovine, the moo virus. That'd be interesting. People turn into cows. Oh shit! Run! Oh, you bastard! No, not Chris. What are you doing? Oh, I found the clip ammo clip though. <laughs> oh, get out of my way! Found ammo clip though, but that's completely by accident. <laughs> I'm not going to stand around while those things uh, bite me to death. Bloody hell. Now I'm hoping she's bloody done her job. I'm hoping she is, whether she has or not is uh, completely up to me. Alright, so I saw the star in. Next we need the three others. She's still fucking it up. Chris! Chris! Hmm? Yes? You like it? Dum, 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 dum. There we go. <laughs> Praise that the body's at the floor, but the body's at the floor. Oh, that was great. There you go, secret door. What is that? I just said a secret door. But first, that's not the main reason I came here. Hopefully she can behave herself and stay there. Get down with the sickness. <laughs> mm. I love that track because that was in uh that Jet Li movie called The One, where he's fighting uh, alternate universe of himself. Because that corrupted version of himself uh, was going around killing different versions of himself and getting more powerful and stronger. And uh, the hero that Jet Li played in it... Oh, I thought there was a clip on the bed there. Did I, did I pick it up? Yeah, I must have picked it up. Shit. But yeah, it was, um... And the reason he wanted to kill the uh, main character, which was also Jet Li, <laughs> was because uh, he believed that he would become God when he killed uh, the last one. Oh, and Day of the Dead. It's a damn good song, though. Get up and down with the sickness. <laughs> But yeah, it's a great film as well. Oh, she's still standing there like a completely gobsmacked. Do you have any ammo on you? Hello? Chris, be careful! Chris, be careful! <laughs> the piano of addition would elevate the level of grass in this game. Oh, well, it's a beloved, uh, it's a beloved classic for a reason. Hmm? The hell? Will you take the gold emblem? Hmm. 
Oh shit! No! Now I found a reason for the emblem. What's through the glass? Does it... No? Not going to tell me? Right, let's go get that emblem. At least I remember I had to come back here to get the emblem. There's also that gem in here that I've not picked up yet. But since I only fit six items in my pocket, it's not. Uh... It's not helpful. There we go. The plant room. That doesn't sound too reassuring. <laughs> I've kind of spoiled the second game for me because I've watched Telescope playing the uh, Telescope and Punisher Bow watching, uh, doing speed runs of Resident Evil 2, so I've seen those horrible plants. Uh, the only I'm using is EPSX. Uh, EPSXE. It's, to be honest, it's one of the best PS1 emulators I've found. It's better than... Uh, it's better than Vitruarch in a number of ways. Vitruarch's really good at playing games that just have the one Q file and the one track, like the one bin file. But if you deal with games like this that have multiple tracks laid out, then it's better to play uh, play it on this because it can actually play multiple tracks. Uh, assuming you play it from the folder. Otherwise, you get all kinds of problems. Like for example. D-pads not working, or one direction not working, or this direction not working, and uh, similar things like that. Alright, come on, let's move. Alright, let's go. Good. <laughs> there it comes again. It's okay, I can squeeze through the cracks. There we go. Oh, nothing different's happened. I can't see in there. Nah, I'll be waste of bullets. Chris, are you all right? Never better. Chris, are you all right? Oh, for God's sake. Broken record. Bloody broken record she is. Never any problem like that in Vitruaga. Well, like I said, if it's uh, an em like an emulated file that's multi-tracked, that's what I find happens. Uh, it doesn't bloody work, but that's just uh, that's just been my experience. It won't ever work with a multi-track thing. You can make it work with multiple discs, and I even have it on my channel. I made like a how to swap discs in Vitruaga. And the Oscar goes to... I don't know who it goes to. <laughs> oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I remember joking about if I had the money I'd build a mansion with this kind of uh, backwards ass uh, thing, you know? All these different symbols you have to put into certain spots and things. Mansion key, and then uh, we joked about how awful it would be because it means if you would have to go to the bathroom, you would have to like uh, pick up an item and put it somewhere else to get the other item that helps you unlock the door that gets to the bathroom. Coming of a shield. I've not seen anybody use a shield key, person. Shield key, shield key. I don't think I've seen a shield key. I've seen armor key, I've seen helm key. 
I'm leaving her alone because she's not uh, not bothering to come this way, so <laughs> leave her to it. If I remember, that was just uh, something else, wasn't it? Yeah, carving of armor, that was it. I wouldn't want to change the light bulb in your house, no. <laughs> to change the light bulb, you have to weigh this item, make sure it's the same weight as this other item, and then you have to solve a little mini puzzle. <laughs> but we weren't making jokes about, you know, trying to get to the bathroom, you'd have to do this, do that, burn the picture. Because that was what was happening in the um, uh, Resident Evil 2, is they had to burn that picture where the gem comes out, and you use the gem in uh, the statues. It's like, you know, what the hell? Oh, it's a beautiful glass pink glass thing. Ah, where was it that I need a shield? I've not, I swear I've not seen a shield door anywhere. Ah, uh -huh, you're all dead! You're all dead! This one wasn't shield, was it? No, that's helmet. Hmm, downstairs is uh That room, that room. I think that room is locked off. I can't remember actually to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, that in real life, it would just be a pain in the ass. but I think it would be kind of funny if I had, like, hidden locations and things. Especially if I had any children to pass things down, I'd be like, Oh, you can't get this item unless you do this. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, did I completely miss that room? You have to play Moonlight and Sonata using spoons while in three bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the bathroom between eight and nine, yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, did I try this door? Armor, okay. Ah, I don't want you. I don't want to harm you, even though you're a zombie. Ah! Get away from me! Oh shit! There's another one! Why are there two? Ah! Get off of me! Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and it's quite a while back as well since we last saved. Shit! Yeah, I'd usually use, um... If it gets too annoying, I might just use save states just to cheat, but for the moment, I want to try and do this by the books, so to speak. The world of survival horror. Good luck! Again, it just sounds kind of sarcastic after you die. Oh, shit, I've got to do those puzzles again. <laughs> I have to go. Let's see you. See you. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Goodbye, one eight eight man. I'm sure I'll see you another time. <laughs> and again, thanks for dropping by. Really help. Just use the bullet code. I don't even know the bullet code, to be honest. I might be tempted because this game is just uh... well. 
To say unfair has been light. Oh, come on. Right at. At? <laughs> Crying out loud. Title screen to the option turns green. Right at. Um, right at what do you mean right at right at do you mean so I'm on my iPad this is gonna happen <laughs> Be smart, fighting foes isn't the only way to survive this horror. No shit, Sherlock. And yet they immediately show you someone fighting a foe. Oh, I'll pick a new game. That's going to be a bit lame, isn't it? Resident Evil. You know what? It's close to the end of my streaming. Why don't we keep going? And then, if I die again, then hold right until the option turns green. All right. Ah, uh, I see. Good luck. Oh, how about this? We go one more time. If I fuck it up then... Then, uh... Yeah, one more time. If we fuck it up then... Then next time I'll, uh... I'll do that. I'll keep a note of that. Where's my pen? I've got a pen here for when I need to take down uh, any kind of uh, tricks of the trade. I've got puzzles and shit on here, <laughs> which I've never done now because I've completed those games. Uh, right. Oh, this stupid thing. New game. Uh, hold uh, right till green. Yep, there we go. Hold right till green. Right, I've written that down for next time. Of course, uh. <laughs> I mean, some people have like a serious issue with people who cheat in games, but I find if you're not having fun with a game, it's the best solution. When you pick a range, hold right. A range? Die! Oh, you bastard. You bloody had to resist, didn't you? Yeah, there'd be extra bullet sponge as well. 
typical. When you pick a range. A range? A range? I swear I never saw that option, a range. Do you mean difficulty? Because it does ask you if you want to play like. Uh, what was it? Normal, training, and advanced. I don't remember there being a range option. Oh shit. That was great. Where's the two bullets? Oh shit. Oh, piss off. That's it, go down. I don't trust it. Git. I don't think there's an arranged option. I'll check. Uh, maybe it's advanced. Ah, advanced. Yes. I get it. Right. So you actually pick advanced, or do you just hold right anyway? And then it turns green, then you pick advanced. Uh, advanced. I'll leave that as a note to myself, I'm sure I'll understand what I mean. Yeah, picture of a newborn baby. Yep. And then, uh, this was the infant, wasn't it? No, that's young man. I think that was the infant. Child. A lively boy. Oh, that's tired middle age man, isn't it? And over here is the young man. Alright, advanced, hold right, and he'll turn green. Alright. Well, thanks for that, I'll try that next time. Because the thing that's uh, really shitty about this is. Uh, as Terroscope was saying, it's not only that they've uh, made things more difficult, but the zombies also take more damage. And on top of that, you've got less ammo, which I think is a bit... <laughs> it really is hard mode, basically. Stars. That's only tells me I'm gonna die anyway, so. <laughs> we should be fine, it'll be taking us close enough to 10 anyway. Then I'll probably raid someone. Yeah, I definitely do that because it, like I said, a lot of people seem to have like this issue of, uh, you know, some Puritans out there have this issue of uh, using cheats under any circumstance. I'm in the camp of, uh, if it makes the game, you know, if it stops the game from being shit, then uh, use them. Because I'd rather, you know, I'd rather enjoy the game than get so angry and so pissed off that I punch my fist through the screen out of frustration. <laughs> you know, I know some people have come to watch people because they're all like, oh, you need to... 
I came here to watch someone get pissed off and scream uh, racial epithets at the video game. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you get double ammo per pickup. Ah! And different camera angles. They're, they were called dynamic back then. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, shit. I better take this. I've taken the green herb. That's better. <laughs> Not perfect, but it's better. Oh, shit. Ah! No! Oh, oh damn! Give me that ammo. Bloody dog. Don't mind me. <laughs> Run straight past him. Wish you claim I was being slick, but I wasn't. Some people like the snuggle and struggle and adversity. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that, especially with, um, say, Dark Souls. I avoided Dark Souls for so long because people would always say, "Oh, it's so hard, it's so hard." But that isn't that isn't fun to me, you know, just being hard. But uh, when you actually play Dark Souls, it's not simply hard; it's difficult. But it's fair, you know? It's difficult, but it's balanced in how difficult it is. You're not just like, uh... Although some later games, it did feel like they made bosses uh, spongy for no reason. <laughs> but that's a completely different topic. But the way that you had the difficulty in Dark Souls, I really quite liked. Although I still like certain elitists out there who say, Oh, using this weapon makes you blah blah blah. Using that makes you... <laughs> Not just hard, meticulous, specific. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, it's got a specific difficulty to it. It's not, you know... Like, uh... Like Jim Sterling actually said, he was saying, you know... Battletoads is a hard game. But it was also poorly bloody, uh... Chris! Chris! Coded. It's a game that becomes far about ten times more difficult by having a teammate in it because you can punch each other and kill each other in the game. You like it? Which is not, you know, that's not fun. Especially when you're trying to complete like a campaign together, you don't want to be punching each other in the face and killing each other, do you? But of course, that's the big difference between Battletoads, which was poorly programmed and kind of shitty in that area. But Dark Souls is difficult. Oh, is difficult that in that great. you know, take notice of your environment and use it to your advantage. Take notice of the enemy movements and use that to your advantage. Don't dodge ahead of time. Dodge afterwards. What is that? You know, like dodge at the very last minute rather than. Uh, Say in classic games like Zelda and others, where when you dodge, you dodge out of the way while they're still charging up their attack. Because as a lot of old games do, is uh, when the person's charging up their attack, you just step over there and they keep attacking that way. But in Dark Souls, they will follow you with it, <laughs> and it's it's difficult to adjust to that, you know. What's it been for? How a friendly fire has been around in a while. It used to be in Game B mode. Yeah, but that's the thing, uh... Battletoads didn't have a Game B. <laughs> that's the problem. But no, Friendly Fire has, has been a thing, but I like it to be the option, not uh, the default. Although with certain games like uh, Counter-Strike, it's the default because... You're meant to watch your fire, you're meant to be careful. So in certain games I can understand it, but with Battletoads it 
having a beat em up where you where you're going to be close together and then end up killing each other by accident is not, you know, a bit of fun. Especially when uh, chances are. Especially when chances are, if you do that, you'll kill your friend, they run out of lives, and then they can't join you the rest of the time, and then you lose. As <laughs> you know. It's not easy being green for <laughs> Fox Thug Life. <laughs> it's not easy being green. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I need to watch the Muppets in Manhattan. I've not watched that yet. They've got a Netflix, so I might as well watch it. <laughs> I'm a fan of them. I'd love the Muppets, though. It's a shame Jim Henson passed away. It really is. Because, uh... I was reading a uh, autobiography... A uh, biography, but for, um... Uh, of Jerry An... Uh, of Jerry Anderson. If you've not heard of Jerry Anderson, he did lots of things like Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet, all using puppetry himself. And him and Jim Henson were going to work on a uh, collaboration. But because Jim Henson uh, unfortunately passed away, they never finished that collaboration, which I thought was a bit... big bloody shame. Some games, the dead player can steal lives from the... from the B player. Ah, uh, no, in, uh, in Battletoads it was kind of a free-for-all. You couldn't steal things, it was a free-for-all. It was either... You steal this, or you steal that. <laughs> Either you try and work with your friend, so it's like, okay, you go that fly, I get this fly. Or, you say, eh, fuck my friend. But, not literally. No, I think this is the wrong way to go. Let's figure it out. But yeah, you couldn't steal lives from on the player, well, you could, if you wanted to be a dick. But, usually in co-op games, you want to work together, you know? <laughs> After all, what's the fucking point? You still haven't seen Dark Crystal? Oh, very, it is very good. Do you mean the original Dark Crystal, or are you on about the Netflix series Age of Resistance? Because I've been enjoying Age of Resistance, and I've been a big fan of the original Dark Crystal uh, for years. It's interesting seeing how they try and tie things back together. Some things I'm a bit iffy on. Was this the shield? No, that's armor. Oh yeah, I haven't seen either. I'd recommend the movie first, because uh, the series is basically... Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not a continuation, it's a uh, prequel. But you don't need... Um, you don't need to see that first. It's basically a prequel just saying, you know, um, of how things got to where they were. Anyway, that's enough. <laughs> that's me dead. <laughs> Again. Uh. Let's try this out. Because it might not work as it's the uh, director's cut version. No, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I'll get out of it then. <laughs> yeah, I did highlight advance, and then when I pressed right, it jumped to the top. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's go on a read, shall we? <laughs> wow, it's, 
It's about my stream ending time anyway. Snake! <laughs> uh, I never got that far into the Metal Gear series, honestly. That's mostly my own fault, to be honest. But when I was younger, I didn't really have the patience for a lot of games. Uh, let's see. Who can we bother? Who can we bother? Who can we bother? Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's bother this person. <laughs> Alright, setting up the raid. I'm opening up another window so I can uh, see my entrance. Well, see our entrance, rather. It's more our entrance than it is just mine. <laughs> Ah, oh, but I hate the bloody uh, adverts that show up. But yeah, they're streaming Code Vein, which is a uh, game done by Spike Chungsoft, who do lots of interesting, uh, very strange Japanese sort of anime style like games. More visual novel than anything, but they ha tackle some very dark subjects, like. Um, previous one I played was Zanki Zero, where the whole world was dead, uh, was over, and it's the apocalypse, and you and the handful of people were the only survivors. Hmm? Oh, I can barely hear him. Let's see. I re I just do not use snipers at all in this game. It's actually really good. Yeah, the breaking iridium crystals was the very first thing we got. Is he there? Hello? Oh, it <laughs> it raided anyway, what the hell? I didn't even click uh, ready yet. <laughs> Must have people in the chat. <laughs> All right, with that, I'll leave then. Uh, good night, everybody on you on everybody on YouTube.